Law School Secrets Series 2, Topic 2. Briefly, we're going to discuss criminal law and the elements of a crime. Welcome, so glad you're here. Be the change you wish to see in the world. And here are my qualifications. I'm a real estate agent. I'm not an attorney. Now, criminal law grew out of civil law and it requires a higher burden of proof. A crime is a public matter and a moral condemnation of a person. A public prosecutor will bring a case. Generally, the burden of proof is beyond a reasonable doubt. Criminal law is applied by various categories according to jurisdiction. That is, if a crime is a federal crime, the FBI would be the investigating agency, and um, it would be a, a state. State has a jurisdiction as well, and um, the uh, laws are mostly uh, based on a combination of state statutes or uh, federal codes, and um, many of the states rely on the MPC as a source of um, reference and um, a secondary source of um, citation in uh, what the meaning is of elements in the crimes. And what you're going to see is the verbiage is going to be a little bit different between state statutes, although some states have adopted portions of the MPC and they read almost the same. They might use the word intent instead of um, knowledge or purpose or you know just a slight variation and then that might be discussed in a case or um, argued. So it is specific to the crime as to how it is analyzed as well and another issue is distinguishing between the same terminology in tort law as in um, criminal law Causation in criminal law may mean somewhat the same thing, but the application uh, will be a higher burden of proof and than it would be in torts. So there's several elements to a crime, and the general way it can be broken down is acts array, a volitional act and mens re, an intent, the mind, and concurrence causation. And the causation is broken into two parts, just like in torts, and um, then you have your resulting injury or crime. Now, notes on acts re is that sometimes an omission to act when you have an obligation would satisfy the element of doing the act. It's um, going to be, um, for example, let's say by federal law you have to file taxes if you earn more than 9000 a year in your state and in your, um, your country. And you earned 30000 before deductions. You didn't do anything to offset that or whatever and then you didn't file so you have a duty to act and you can get in trouble for or get criminally prosecuted for tax evasion unless you have a really good defense so until next time we're going to talk about um, more on what we just built the just the basic foundation of criminal law what is what is a crime why is crime separate from torts well Criminal law is going to be punishing you um, by putting you in jail or fining you. And I didn't really get into felonies or that sort of thing, the, um, the details. I'm just talking about the basic 
uh, nutshell items that you might want. And I want you to think about getting an outline together if you don't already have one. If you do have one, fill in the blanks uh, as things become more uh, apparent. And I just want you to like and subscribe. Use the bell on the right if you want to get updates of new uploads. Again, this is a retake of the last one because of the audio problems. I'm going to be redoing all of them and then moving on from there. Thank you so much. Have a great day.